So I still get asked all of the time if I think that printable wall art is saturated. And the answer is yes and no. If you are trying to sell printable wall art that looks like this, then yes, most likely it is going to be too saturated for you to be able to enter that marketplace as there are thousands of sellers who are trying to replicate this shop's style of success and as a new seller it will be extremely difficult for you to break into this marketplace. That being said, I do not think that every single niche and category of printable wall art is saturated as there are still tons of opportunity. So in this video, I wanted to showcase how I would find a profitable printable wall art niche that you could create and begin selling today. So my first step is to begin in E-Rank and I've just typed in wall art within the search bar at the top just to give me a broad keyword and then I will narrow down from there. As most of you have seen in many other videos, I simply look for green, meaning that the average search is green and the competition is green as well. So theoretically, you want a high amount of search and a low amount of competition. I have already pulled this up and I found a really interesting one that after doing a little bit more research into, I think that pretty much anyone would be able to have success if they executed this strategy correctly. And the keyword is Japandi wall art. So it has an average amount of searches of 2000, which is very high for um, something that has had a very steady amount of search throughout the year. You can just hover over the little graph here and it will give you the average amount of searches each month. And it still has a green amount of competition, so low. I did not know um, what Japandi wall art was, so I went ahead and looked it up just to make sure that I understood what I was designing for before moving on to Etsy to validate that this style was being sold. Be simply put, Japandi is a style of Scandinavian and Japanese design. It is very minimalistic. It has lots of elements of greenery with bo uh, boho-like beige. Um, it does have warm tones and it's um, usually very um, aesthetically pleasing as far as being naturally based. There are a few keywords to note that I found by just reading this article. And this is why it's always important to do your research as I'll note on Etsy that um, you probably wouldn't have known that this was a keyword unless you actually researched a little bit of what this style actually is. So um, it's Japandi and Wabi Sabi, um, which is an element of a philosophy which is based on the traditional Japanese aesthetic and worldview philosophy. I won't go into the rest of it, um, but that actually is a keyword on Etsy that you probably wouldn't have known unless you did a little bit more extra digging. Over in Etsy, all I did was type in Japandi wall art, and if you leave it um, with just Japandi, you'll get a bunch of other different um, keyword combinations that would be worth noting in the future in case you decided to build a brand around this type of shop and offer additional um, products, which I really would recommend, such as um, ones just like decor, there's printable, there is lamp, there's coffee vase, print is one of them, which um, since this is printable, it would fall under Japandi print. And then there is the combination of Japandi wall art printable as well. So now that I see um, that Everbe has basically given the same results, they're a little bit different. Um, I mostly use Everbe to look at the actual volume of sales and dollar amounts. So I've already pulled up this first page of analytics and I've actually sorted by the listing age. 
So this is going to give me a really good idea if new stores are seeing success. And most of these listings right away were still within one month of being created. So this top one is over $1,600 and the next one is 193. There are quite a few other ones down here, but they do have, they are a little bit more established. So I like to focus on the ones that are just recently created. Now that I know that there are several different ones that are making money, the one that caught my eye on the first page was this one just because I liked the design style. It is in 10 carts. It has sold today. So it is um, definitely probably on the way to ranking um, soon for more than just what it is. But this is what I was talking about, about the Wabi Sabi keyword. And then it has Japandi, it has minimalist, um, and I don't think they use the word Japanese, which I would try to incorporate that into here, um, abstract, but they have duplicated the keywords uh, three different times, so definitely not necessary. You'd be able to add in more keywords that would work, such as Scandinavian, since this is what this um, type of niche revolves around. So now that I have validated my idea, it is time to move on to the creation process. So for the creation of these, I've decided to create them in mid journey and I did do a little bit of work ahead and generated the style that I wanted, which was this prompt here. It is in a two to three ratio and I generated a couple different types of subjects mainly a Japanese cherry blossom tree, a frog, since these seem to be very popular, a moon, though this variation did not turn out as well. It did it the second time. So now I'm just going to upscale all of the ones that I want to use. Now that I have all of those downloaded, I will move in to upscaling them and I will just use my Topaz Gigapixel AI to quickly upscale these by two times. So I'm just going to select the images. I downloaded a few extra frogs just because since you're creating them anyway, you might as well download them if they all matched because that could be a different set of wall art prints that you don't have to create later um, and they're already ready to go. So now that I have those upscaled, I will move into my design platform of choice, which is Kittle. And I've just clicked on create a new project at the top. And I'm just going to select the poster small size, which is 16 by 20, and then change this to 300 and click create. I will then go ahead and upload my images and now I will just begin resizing them and adjusting their colors and adding anything in additionally that I want to. So for this one, I'm just going to adjust the saturation just a bit and the contrast a little bit of texture. And I am doing this just because I saw that on several of the examples on Etsy, they had some grunge type elements or um, texture applied. So I am just adding in just a little bit to make it a little bit more unique and have that same effect. Once I have finished with it, I will go ahead and download the design. I will click optimize quality and click PNG and then that will download. So now that all of those have downloaded, I will go ahead and move on to the mocking up process, which is um, just done on a 2000 by 2000 um, canvas within Kittle. 
and I found this mock-up uh, within Creative Fabrica just because I thought that it matched the overall minimalist um, vibe that this type of artwork goes with and so I just downloaded that and uploaded it to Kittle and now I am going to add in the four images that I have decided to use. It was a little bit difficult to um, decide on which of the frogs that I wanted. So I ended up with actually two of them. And this process will take just a little bit of time for them all to upload just due to their size. And you will have to crop them just to get them to be able to fit within the frame. And to do that, just right click and click crop and then you'll be able to resize them. So now that those are all sized, I will just click on export and click on optimize quality and download as a PNG. So you're now ready to list this on Etsy. I would highly recommend that you use a tool like Everbee to analyze all of the different titles and tags that are being used on the first page that for the listings that are actually seeing results, just to make sure that um, you are incorporating everything that you possibly can to get found for. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching this video and if you want to watch a similar video about a different style of printable wall art with low competition, then be sure to check out that video here and I will see you all in the next video.